connection established. Welcome. In front of you, you can see network kit set that cost around $20 on eBay. Here is a lot of stuff inside, but I will get out just things we need to make usable network cable. All things you'll see here will be in the description below, so check links for more information. Here you can see famous RG45, also called 8P8C connector. They are very cheap, I bought 100 pieces for 3 bucks. If I don't make mistake, two of those will be enough. But in case I make some mistake and connect something wrong, I can throw a connector away because it is not usable anymore after its pins are pressed on wires. Next I'll need a scrimping tool that will press connector pins through cable shield and that will make connection with copper wire. This is not necessary, but if you want, you can use cover boots to close all gaps between connector and cable. Price for 10 pieces is around a dollar. That should improve connection quality a little bit by reducing electromagnetic interference that can be caused in the parts where wires are not twisted anymore. After I connect everything, I'll use network cable tester to check if this cable will be usable or not. Of course, we can do nothing without network cable. I'm using foiled unshielded twisted pair CAT5E that has hard black plastic shield to make it more resistant. This cable is designed for outdoor use. I bought 100 meters of this cable for $35 in my local electronics shop. And for the nth, I printed two types of connection to guide me with color order. I'll use T568B just because I prefer it. Let's start. Take amount of cable you need. When you decided what length you need, cut it with the help of crimping tool like this. Now, let's cut plastic shield. I recommend you to strip outside shield in a length of two fingers placed side by side together. But here I cut it a little bit too short, so it will be harder when placing colors in order. You will see what I'm talking about in a minute. Twist crimping tool around once or twice and remove black plastic. Because this is F slash UTP cable, in layer below black plastic is one aluminium foil around all wires th that was removed together with black plastic. And under aluminium foil here is also transparent foil that I just removed. Now cut this unshielded copper wire because it is not needed in this case. This wire can be used with metal connectors as a ground if needed. Separate pairs and untwist them. Now let's place wires in color order like on this picture. That's what I was talking about before. It is harder to place wires in order if you remove shield too little. With the help of the crimping tool, I just straighten wires a little bit because we will need fine straight cut and we want wires to be in the same level. Now make straight cut similar to this one. Try to leave length of one finger like this. Check color order and if it is alright, try to put wires in connector with pins on connector looking up like this. It should fit nice and plastic shield of cable should be deep inside because when it will be pressed with the crimping tool, one small part of connector will be pressed on cable to prevent it from extraction. Take crimping tool and place cable with connector inside.
press it and check if pins are pushed inside. In case they are not, try to press once more. And crimping is done. Now let's do the same on the other side, but on this side let's add blue cover boot. And it is time to test if this cable is usable. I'm using Splintech tester from NetroKit that you saw before in this video. Insert one side of cable to one socket, then other side of cable to second socket. And turn tester on. Left side LEDs and right side LEDs should blink in pair. 1, 1, 2, 2, and so on. If some LED is not blinking, that means that something is connected wrong. Here, everything is connected good and the cable is ready for usage. And that's it. I hope it was simple and clear enough, so that you can do it successfully from first attempt. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Good luck.